Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to another day of Hiller Soccer. I'm Steve Sweetapple, along with Mike Tarosian and John Ritz on camera. We're coming to you live from the new turf field at the high school as Hopkinton's JV boys are taking on Medway in the second of the Home and Home series this weekend. Yesterday, Hopkinton was a 2-0 victor in their opening match of the season. Should be an entertaining game, Mike. Yeah, I think so, too. And, uh, you know, we're going to see a little bit uh, more aggressive play. Not, not as much as the, the Vassie boys, but um, I, I watch these kids warm up in practice. They get, they get some uh, speed, I think. I think I'm going to see some speed uh, in today's game. Uh, but it's, it's about the ball control, which we learned yesterday. Yep. And we're underway here. There'll be four 17-minute quarters instead of the usual 35-minute half. Nice takeaway there from Srivasta. And I believe they give, a, is it a two-minute break or a five-minute break? Uh, two-minute break between two minute break. You know, skip ball, picked yeah. off by Hopkinton. Neroian with a nice step. A nice through nice. ball, just a little ahead. Yeah. Donate picked it up, and there's our first shot. Not bad, first minute and first shot. Nice control, keeping it on the ground. It's... uh. Interested to watch these goalies hold back yeah. on their kicks now. Yeah, get away, get away. Get some, make some space there. And again, I want to remind the folks at home, you know, we're under the COVID-19 restrictions. That's why you see very few parents and spectators. And no ball boys. Yeah, yesterday in the <clears throat> we noticed in the girls' game there was probably about three or four minutes worth of game time that they never made up because poor Rich had to chase balls in the woods all day. I know. He had three over by the scoreboard alone. They want to hand it to our athletic director, Rich Corbier, who's uh, doing a fine job set up. He's, again, keeping the staff at a minimum, keeping everyone safe. And uh, he takes the time, and he's, uh, you know, putting himself out there, taking care of everything. Nice through ball. You see the player's eyes. They just want to put their head on that ball so bad. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and out of all games, too, I mean, this is where you see some of the best slide tacklers is these boys teams and yep. we're not going to get to see any of that today either. A little nutmeg flick there from Charlie Core Medway but picked off nicely by Batika. Back to our futsal throw in here. <laughs> You know, it's funny watching the referee holding the whistle up in the air, the electronic whistles, and seeing it's red. Whenever a referee has something red, red in his hand like that, game, yeah. <laughs> not used to that. But again, we improvise, adapt, and overcome. Looks like Hopkinson's playing a 3-5-2. I was trying to figure out what their formation, other than an amoeba, I think it's a 3-5-2. Yeah, they're playing 11 v 11, which is, uh, you know, there was talk that they were going to do 9 v 9. Yeah, I think they might have done 9 v 9 yesterday because Medway's got a small roster. Small roster, yeah. Yeah, uh, good recovery from Batika. Yep. Just plays it out. Perfect move. Yeah, we've 
we've got a foot race here. Coach Allen stopped to his player, the ref think he heard sub. <laughs> nice step by Bill Abreski. Oh nice nice move from Neves. And oh. well Strzok hits the post. It's still wow. in. Hopkinton slow to react there. There was everybody in green was standing around. It was a nice cut from Neves. Yeah. You know, one inch in the other direction it's a goal, but then yep. again, one inch in the other direction it's a complete miss. So. Yep. <laughs> well struck ball by Passos. Ooh. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, that was unintentional. No, that was just a clumsy yeah, it, challenge. It was uh, unintentional, but uh, wow, that could have been a beautiful breakaway. That was Neroian. Nice ball. A little confusion there on the Hillers. Nice movement from Henkel. Well, that was unintentional. Nice ball. Yeah, nice. Oh, got half a toe on yeah, that Yeah, that was, Donate just got a toe on that. Uh, that wasn't his head, that was the back of his. Uh, I thought the shoulder blade. It was. I think he was moving his head to get his face I, out of I, the way. Well, yeah, I think, I th I think Batiko was going for the header and realized, oh, no, I can't do that, and he turned his back. He's off Sheehan. Nice ball from Henkel. Just a little too much. It was a good idea, though. Good movement here for Medway. Nice step there from McCann. Hiller ball. McCann will put it back in play. Boothroyd, Goo, and Carolino checking in for the Hillers. Nice turn from Sheehan.
nice pickoff from Medway. Ball's out of bounds. Hiller ball. Seven minutes gone here in the first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. Hopkinton and Medway. Nice, nice switch of the field from Billabreski. Boothroyd down the wing. He's got two in the middle. And that should be a goal, and it is. Nice. Nice touch from Noroyan. Hillers with the first goal of the day. That was some good speed down the wing. I was just going to comment on how nice it was here without the wind. And the wind just started to pick up. <laughs> it's not as bad as yesterday, but. Uh -oh. A little sloppy here from Medway. A little toe poke from Pierre Louis. Neves keeps that under control. Patika in hot pursuit. Oh, once again, Hopkinton a little slow. Another sloppy pass from Hopkinton. Carolino with a pass back to Medway. Henkel keeping the ball on the sideline. Yep, just dribbles it over the side. And Core just sent that ball a little too hot. Onkin Thomas and Andrew Bialbreski checking in. Batika with the ball. Tries to hit Onkin, but Medway stepped in. Boothroyd back to it. Nice switch of the field from Boothroyd. Oh, there's a little takedown from Sheehan. And that's scooped up. I'm assuming in net for Hopkinton is Hatherley. Can't see a number, but through process of elimination, <laughs> I don't see a number two out there. But at least we have a roster. We do have a roster. Not making up names. Four minutes left to go in this first quarter. Hopkinton one, Medway zero. The first of our two games today. Oh, there's a nice <laughs> clearance from Arthur. Hopkinson throw. <laughs> nice strike from Batika.
Now, what are the times that you would let your defenseman take the goal kick instead of the goalie? Um, tr realistically, you want your goal your goalie to take it. I think um, the reason I saw this yesterday with Medway with the girls. I don't I don't think that they understand that they can actually have a defender in the box now. Correct. It's a new rule. Yeah. And so you can just play the ball short, have the keeper just tap it to a defender and work the ball up. But I don't think this keeper has the leg strength based on the way I've seen him punt. That's a nice shot. Oh. Good punch over. Nice save from the keeper. He just ran by the ball by the net. All right. I th think that's Carolino taking the corner kick. Still Hopkinton ball. So let me ask you this question. If I was doing a corner kick and I just kick it to one of my team players, could he kick it in front of the net after yes, that? Yes, that's they why it? this rule makes no sense. Uh, so basically you're, you're turning it into an indirect uh, – Basically, an indirect kick from the corner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it right. doesn't it doesn't make any sense because yeah. you can still you play the ball short on the ground to a teammate, and then the teammate can just clock it into the box. So right. and you can rush the box just right. like any play. Right. You stay right. stay right. it on sides because well, that's the only thing too is it now creates a, an offsides uh, opportunity, whereas there was never offsides on a corner kick. Right when the ball's kicked. Right. Right. Exactly. So I, I guess I can see that. I can, yeah. Doesn't mean I like it, but I can see it. <laughs> there you go. There's a good step there from Bielbreski. And that's the end of the first quarter here. That was a fast first quarter. That Hopkinton. did. That moved right along. Hopkinton with a one nothing lead here. But a very, uh, you know, a, a, a better played game than what we saw yesterday. Correct. Yeah, there was, uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of good ball control here. And you can tell that they still uh, haven't gelled yet as a team being their first game. And, and you know, like I said, the first... The first one, two, or three uh, uh, games are going to be like your preseason. And there's uh, Rich Corbier out there, wife of the ball, which hasn't been touched by any hands except his. <laughs> that whole, but you got to do what you got to do. Yep. And, uh, and he does do a good job keeping everyone safe. Uh, yesterday, during yesterday's games, he was kicking fans out from behind us. Yep. Which is the general rule is you don't sit behind the players, period. That's been a rule way before COVID. Um, and some people just didn't like it. They said, well, I'm far enough away, but, yeah, but you can still harass a player. You can still. Uh, harass us. Yeah, exactly. No one would do that. They love us. So, again, we're going to be back next week with uh, a lot of, lot more sports. We have, uh, I believe we start off with soccer on Saturday. I think we have, is it two games Saturday, four games Sunday? Two games Saturday, four games Sunday yeah. for soccer, yes. That's it. So, we'll be back. You'll be around. I'll be for around. For the soccer stuff. I think I'm around. John might be around. You never know. We'll see. But uh, if this stays to be the norm for our season, I am going to be one happy fella. Oh, the weather you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is just we're not, you're not We're not taking bets on that, are we? Uh, no, 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 never a bet. But I'm just, uh, you know, the glass is half full, you know. It's always been the optimist. And, I mean, to stand out here, here it is. It's October 11th, and I'm in a T-shirt. Yeah. No, this is perfect weather. You know, yesterday we could have done the T-shirt if the wind wasn't whipping at 50 miles an hour. But thankfully it was because we actually would have been a little hot. Yeah, I can see the roasting. Yeah, I can see the roasting. But this is a great day. 
I, lo- I loved all the afternoon games. I, I really enjoyed it when we were in the Triple E lockdown um, with football and doing games on Saturday afternoons. Uh, the only thing that we hate is the position of the sun because where the press box yeah. is on field three and then our position here for the turf uh, it makes it really, really difficult. Now well, we're ready for the second quarter here. Oh, so they're not switching sides like we did yesterday. Right. I, I believe they're going to switch sides at half. Right. Well, that, yeah, but yesterday they were switching sides at every quarter. So. Correct. And uh, oh, that was one of the things I was talking to uh, the athletic director about when he was on the Hopkins Hangout Hour was that some of the rule changes, and one of them was volleyball not changing benches. Oh, they're not going to change benches? No, you can change. I believe they're going to still change sides. Sides, but not benches. But not change, which, which makes sense. That makes sense. I always says, why are you packing up your stuff and going? You know, you're just going to be, you, you use the plastic cups out of the water. That's it. You don't need your stuff over there. I never understood that. Spend the time doing something else. <laughs> These rule committees really should check with us ahead of time. You know, we'd, we'd be calling all the calls right if they did. Uh, but that's going to be interesting to watch how, you, you know, uh, I think we're going to get very terrible st- statistics uh, from our managers because you're not going to see many aces and blocks when you have to stay three feet away from the net. That's that's another fun rule change. Medway putting the ball back in play. Back to the keeper, Moran. There you go. There you go. Nice Good give. step from Provencher. Oh, look at that. Nice shot. Beautiful. Well placed. Nice goal from Brian Gu. But the... Uh, 15 minutes left. Oh, they are stopping the clock. They do stop the clocks on goals. 2 nothing. Hiller's in front here early in the second quarter. You got your pen? You want to just write that down? Number 10 scored at 15.09? <laughs> got it. So Mr. Nappy can do his sports. I don't know what time they scored the first one, but if you remember who did. Yep. Great. So I want to take a minute to uh, remind people of our programming that we got coming up uh, this week. Monday, the Hangout Hour will be a rerun uh, due to be a Columbus Day and everyone will be off. So we're going to replay uh, last week's episode. Uh, come Wednesday, Wednesday night, is the uh, next edition of the Hopkins Hangout Hour. Uh, live, I'm not sure. I didn't catch it, uh, what was on there. Um, but we're going to have a new... Uh, episode of that, we're going to have a new episode of uh, Keep Moving uh, from the Senior Center. And we're going to have a new Diamond Drive-In. And two time, John reminds me, two time every Sunday morning is at uh, 7 or 8, 8 a.m. on uh, Channel 8 Comcast. Verizon 30. Good pressure from the Hillers. Medway having trouble clearing the ball. Oh, right into pressure like that. That's El Gabri with the ball, triple teamed. Uh, Hillers have stepped up their intensity here since the first goal. Are they, running, are they doing a 5 2 3 now? Or a now they're, all, they're playing three in the back. Yeah, definitely. And three then in the back. I can't tell whether they're playing with one number six or two number two or two number sixes. Huh. I'm trying to figure their shape out. Almost looks like a 3 4 3 right now. Yeah.
Yeah, the way that they're bunched up. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to go with that. I'm going with the 3-4-3. Oh, oh. Oh, you got to commit. <laughs> if the keeper commits, you, you got to finish that. Oh. This nice. doesn't like being off balance, having a shot uh, kicked at you. That was a good saving play from William Bildbreski. Oh, that was all ball. Good play. Oh, that's a great ball. Nice. Look at the speed. Oh, well check there. A little extra touch by uh, number 15 there. Yeah, that's a that's a COVID call. That was a legal shoulder to shoulder, but with the COVID rules, they're not allowing that. Correct. Elgabri with good speed. Yeah, they can swing it, maybe. To McCann. Back to Batika. Good switch of the field. Oh. Too far. Yeah. Ankin had his back turned. He didn't see it. Nothing wrong with that ball. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why Medway doesn't just have the defender stand there and let the goalie just tap it to him and then work the ball up. Sure. Because right now you got a 50-50 chance of turning it over. Right, when you can't when you can't give that ball all the mustard you want, then you might as well just uh, carry it. Well, goal kicks you can kick past midfield. Correct. It's just punting, which once again makes no difference. Yeah. I, I don't understand. Naroyan checking in. Ruben got the first goal. Henkel's got good distant, good a good shot from long range. What I'd like to see him do is pick the ball up from 40 yards out, lift his head up, because his keeper is way off his line. That's a good shot, handled by Moran. I don't see, you'd like to take him shot right now. That's a right yeah. idea, right idea. Carolino, Andrew Bilbreski, and Boothroyd check back in. Nice step from Goo. That's going to have a little too much on it. I love the effort that the Hills are given to get to the ball first. You know, yep. and then run into the pass. They're running to the balls on a the pass. They're not just waiting for it to get come to them. Donate Thomas and Sheehan check back in for the Hillers. Nice. Very nice, oh. very nice step yep. from Valbreski. <laughs> Andrew Valbreski there took one for the team. He jumped over him. <laughs> Throw in Medway. Ramos checking in for Medway.
Seven and a half minutes left here in the second. You can't do that. Oh, did they call? Did I miss a foul there? Yeah, they called that a foul. Oh, they did. Yeah. I thought it was out of bounds. Yeah, that. Never mind. I was wrong. Yeah, that's why I said, oh, he jumped over the ball. Not, not got tripped, but what do I know? That's it, all ball. No whistle. <laughs> That might be Tyler Goldner in goal for Hopkinton. Sorry, folks, we can't tell. There's, I hear everybody saying Tyler. Yeah. And 14 is Tyler Carolino, and 15 is Tyler Goldner. So at least we have names. Anyway, not getting much buildup there. No, no defensive overlaps on the run. Everybody's staying back. Why does one ref have his arm up for a direct kick and one's got his arm down? <laughs> A uh, nice step from Bobreski, from William. Two nothing, Hopkinton in front. Here in the second day of the back-to-back -back home and away series with Medway. Boys varsity following us at 4 p.m. today. See, what's the difference yeah. between that and a corner kick? E exactly. My point exactly. But you got to remember, greater minds than us have made up these rules. <laughs> that wasn't sarcasm, folks. That was the truth. <laughs> A lot of people smarter than Steve and I. <laughs> Sean McC McCann checking in for the Hillers. Good ball up the wing. Andrew Bialbreski switches the field. Boothroyd. Go. Now. Oh, oh. We'll put it behind him. Batika back to Boothroyd, picked off by Core. Nice dribble. Good recovery from Boothroyd, though. He kept though. it in, too. And a little push there from Sheehan. Tyler Carolino, swing and a miss. <laughs> Must have just tipped the ball, it's Medway corner. Nevis to take the kick. Patika, nice clearance. A nice step. Nice step from Thomas. Outside to Carolino. Thomas got the foul. Hiller ball. 
Direct kick. Indirect kick. I don't know. One's calling direct, one's calling indirect. I give up, Mike. It's, you know. <laughs> nice. No, no, no. Do over. God, is this volleyball season? Yeah. The do overs? Yeah. So, like, this is where the confusion of indirect and direct happened. Once, once again, we had one ref indirect, one ref direct. And offside. Offside. That was a nice switch, though. Yeah. It's a good position. For a guy with a big brace on his leg like that, he gets around pretty good. He uh, always seems to be in position. Oh, I guess it looks big because that has that padding to protect the other players. Yep. Under two minutes, time now being kept on the field. Donate, oh. Nice control. Yeah, it is. Oh. Nice. He was trying to pull it back. Yeah. He just had somebody hanging on him. Right. Noroyan. So we'll go to the corner, not a corner kick. Boothroyd will take the kick. This uh, hit. Had Sheehan back here all alone. And that's it. The that's end of the half. second quarter, first half. Hopkinton up 2 0. Entertaining first half, Mike. Yeah, I'm with you on that. It was, uh, it was nice to see the good ball control. Uh, it wasn't as sloppy play as we thought it would be at the JV level first game uh, that you expect. I, I think they did very well. But you got to remember, too, uh, these are some of the kids that y you see that play club all year round and, and uh, yep. town on the weekends. You know? Right, <laughs> yep. So the, we got a five minute break. Yeah, we're going to we'll take a break. We'll take Have a break, break and we'll be back with the start of the third quarter in five minutes. Come back, folks, and we're here for the start of the third quarter. It's Hopkinton leads Medway 2-0 to zero in the boys' JV game. I'm Steve Sweetup along with my broadcast partner, Mike Terosian, and John Ritz on camera on a beautiful Sunday afternoon here at the high school. I needed sunscreen. I'm feeling like I think I got a little burn going. And do we have new keepers? We have new keepers for... Both sides. Yeah. I th no, 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 nope, just for Hopkinton. I thought I saw some change. Well, they don't have the numbers to. <laughs> they don't have enough subs. Yeah. <laughs> it's how to have goalies, you know. You, it's, you either got a person that is uh, uh, really committed to being a goalie or you got one that takes it for the team every weekend. <laughs> it just plays the goalie. And I think that's what we have here yeah. with Medway. Problem is, I have no number with Hopkinson I, either. I thought I saw 43 on the back, but yeah, we have no 43 though. I yeah, think that was just a T-shirt. Pity, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was trying to figure out who's in goal. Batika up to Ankin. Uh, sloppy pass from. Shrivastava. That's a good double team there from Henkel. And a little back heel. Ankin down the wing. He's got support in the middle. Uh, Oga had it if he kept it on his left foot. He went back to his right foot. 
Oh, nice step. Balbreski, nice ball. defense. I didn't even notice Hopkinson was playing a man down. McCann just comes in. Nice ball. Algabri was there, just got shouldered off. Medway ball. Shrivastava. A little too many touches. Should have just pushed the ball wide. He had Onkin out there. Neves puts it back in play for Medway. Back to Pierre Louis. Carpenter oh. up to Ramos. A nice step from Balbreski. Carpenter puts the ball back in play. Ball was in the air. Offsides. Oh, it was offsides. offsides. And so even though it's a throw in, it's considered an indirect kick. So yep. he was offsides. Nice. That's how you got to commit. Yep. Arthur tried to push it up. Nice step from Balbreski. Good footwork. Little flick. Srivastava. Uh, Hopkinton's with only three forwards against four defenders. They're they're getting their opportunities. Nice takeaway from Chiplock. Back to core. Outside. Nice pick off from Oga. Nice step from Oga. There it is. Onkin with Looks the ball. Like and tried to get it to Henkel. Spread out now. Balbreski, good footwork. Hiller throw. Core with a giveaway there. Batika, outside, oh, offsides. Onkin offsides. Carpenter set to put the ball back in play. Pierre Louis taken away by Batika. Balbreski down the line, out of the field of play. No balls on the side. Five minutes gone here in the third period. Hopkinton up 2-0 against Medway. Batika. Sloppy pass. Srivastava. Henkel, a little flick. Oh, no. need to change that oh. direction. Yep. Oga couldn't handle the pass. And 
down the wing, turnover, Medway. McCann will put the ball back in play. Hillers have picked up their defensive intensity here in the start of the third. Oh, there's a giveaway. Anka with the ball. Chip. There. Oh. Oh, who's there? Oh. Corner kick, Hillers. Oh. You would have liked to have seen him chip there. Yeah. Nice little chip shot. Keeper went down real early. Yeah. I mean, you could have even just uh, stepped on and changed direction and go around him. Hank will take the corner kick from the far side. Well, looks like the Hillers are going to do a complete line change here. And this is what uh, must be tough to see, being out there for Medway, knowing that. <laughs> Fresh I've feeder been, coming in. <laughs> I've been out here for 45 minutes. <laughs> Ran with the save. Brian Gu just thumps it outside. Midway ball. <laughs> Sammy Bell coming in for Medway. Oh, uh, no. Maybe not. Tyler Bresky with another takeaway. He's having go. a very good game. Uh oh. Edwards keeper is uh, keeping this team alive right now. Uh, this could be trouble. Balabreski again. Hopkinton has. Push from the back yeah. from Medway. This is, an a this is a dangerous position. Who's going to take the kick? Henkel. It's a good there take. Very good shot from Henkel. Batika, chest it down. Honking with a shot, side on the net. It's off sides. Carpenter puts it back to Pierre St. Louis. Back to Carpenter. Thumps it long. Goo intercepts it. Off Medway. Yeah, you can. There we go. Now it goes the wave of green. It is a wave. <laughs> Empties yeah. the bench. Uh, Medway coach is just standing there with his arms crossed saying, yeah, look at that. Sheen will put the ball in for the Hillers. Donate. <laughs> Thomas, back to Donate. Now well, tries to just flick it back. Got to move his feet a little quicker there. Carpenter will put the ball back in for Medway. Into the center of the field. Chip block. Carpenter. Back to core. A nice through ball, but Goo picks it off. Oh. 
Norian intercepts it. Back to Thomas. You can tell their timing's just off. Yeah. Kuhu calls Sheehan off. Donate. Great idea, a little too much. Carpenter puts the ball back in play for Medway. Chip lock. There's a foul. So it's a, the refs are getting their hand signals. He called He called direct and he has his hand up for indirect. Correct, and that's why the other, the other ref is telling him, put your hands down. So. <laughs> Andrew Biobreski. Oh, no, she's going to let Sheehan bring it in. Sheehan with the ball, a little sloppy with the pass. Preventure tries to put it through. Medway picks it off. Hiller ball. Tyler Callerino puts it in. Thomas with the ball. There's a giveaway. Balabriski, William. That's a very good ball. Ryan was a little, a little late seeing it. That was going to be a switch of the run of play. Arthur puts the ball in for the Hillers. Nice step from William. Didn't go over half. Ref called the ball over half. Huh? My bad. Okay. All right. Hey, at least he owned up to that one. Hey, what's, what's, what's that favorite, my, my favorite saying? Do over? Let's do that again. Watch you go over half. So they're playing stopper, sweeper, Hopkinton is. Oh, yeah, I mean, they have to. I mean, they're playing the man down, right? That makes sense. Keep the two on the back. Boothroyd puts it in. Thomas. There you go. Nice save. Saves a lot of running. Your midfield is like that. Yep. <laughs> Less than two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Official time now being kept on the field. Vasco puts it in for Medway. Pierre St. Louis down the side. 
Jack Arthur just touches it out of bounds. I'd like to see Hopkinton move the ball quicker. Medway's chasing it with two to three people on the ball. On the ball. If right. they could just drop it back wide. Vasco outside to Carpenter. Back to Pierre St. Louis. Uh -oh. Arthur go. back to the keeper. And that's. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hear the keeper yelling, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Well said. We're not, not going to let you do that again. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the third quarter. Gives us a good laugh. Uh, Hopkins it up two to nothing here over Medway. Yeah, kind of what you want is uh, the kind of play you want to see when you change a whole new line, you know, get all those subs in, and uh, you're going to see a different kind of play. It's not going to be as, as well formed as your starters. You did have uh, the keeper, very vocal call it his defense and make it sure yep. yeah, we that they see here. what we did. And yep. it, it was great. That That's the kind of communication. I, I mean, I'm going back to, you know, 19. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it was, you know, my Lindsay, Lindsay Webster on days, you know, and, uh, two, 99 and, uh, well, whatever, she became a goalie for life. And, uh, man, you could hear her from the next town over. Uh, she always – let the defense know what she sees and that's what you want. Wants that kind of protection. Goalkeeper sees the whole field. You saw twenty three? Okay. So that is Sathish Kumar in net now for the Hillers. John Ritz with the eyes. Yeah, at least he got to see him. We saw forty three from where we were. Maybe he's got multiple jerseys on. Yeah. Oh, was 43 in the back? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, good call. Yeah, he's wearing a white uh, Hillis shirt underneath. Hillis. So, yeah, all right, so the referees are out there in the middle there discussing uh, hand signals. John, if you want to show that. <laughs> They're going over. They're going to which way is direct, what's indirect. There you go. Hands up. Indirect, yeah, thank you. You know, it, uh, part of me thought, too, was he doing that just to blow the whistle so everyone so can you hear, can hear it. it? You know, <clears throat> is that part of it? But if that's the case, you know, hold it up like this. You know, hold it, yeah. you know, up, up, not above your shoulder. And here we go, the last quarter. We got 17 All minutes up. of play left here. On a gorgeous Sunday afternoon. We got one more to do. And we got one more game to come. The boys, varsity. Medway Hopkinton game will follow this in 30 minutes from the conclusion. Well, 40. F yeah. <laughs> well, 40 minutes depends <laughs> on how we do. They're still doing that. Well, they just did this last quarter. I thought they discussed that they were going <coughs> to play 10. Well. So they're back to 11. Okay. Andrew Bielbreski is in. So we have a full complement of players now. Glad they only changed for the half. Yeah, I am too. That quarter stuff, I mean, come on. That's what football is all about. American football. Boy, 
point kick. Charlie Coral take the kick. Kept him nicely. Simon takes it down. Puts it outside. Chip lock back to Carpenter. Pierre St. Louis. Onkin with a foul. Sean McCann. Nice. Bedway throw in. That's a nice take. Just a little high. Yep, core with a very nice strike. McCann. To Oga. Core with the interception. Oh, nice. Some nice chip uh, block. Skills there. That's it. Nice step from Onken. Very good step from now. Henkel. Oh, yeah, he's still on the side. His teammates were urging him to, to dribble all the way in. And Carlos actually made the, the right play. It's just too many medway legs in the way. Right. Nice step. Batika. Onken. I wonder if Medway is missing players being a holiday weekend. Yeah, I mean, uh, I never knew Columbus Day to be such a traveling weekend. First off, there's nowhere to go. Number <laughs> one, number, you know, nothing to yeah. do. But, uh, you know, because the weather's always hit or miss. I mean, yeah, this would be a great weekend down the Cape. Nice tracking back from Oga. There you go. Nice ball. Carolino, oh, just waited too long to pull the trigger. Yeah, his teammate should have gave him a man on call or something to give him a heads up. Oh, Patika overran the ball. Goo, nice cover. Andrew Bielbeski. A little push for Monken. I remember the days of youth sports with uh, football, we always planned our <coughs> events on, like we, we used to do fundraising dances. We used to do it on Columbus Day weekend because it was a three-day weekend and, you know, nobody traveled. But nothing surprises me now. I know people take vacations because it's National Hot Dog Week. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Bielbeski puts it in play. <laughs> Carolino. Core. Nice tackle. Nice tap from Oga. Carlos with the ball. Be a 
Indirect kick for Hopkinton. See if we see two arms up. Batika to McCann. That's it, Carolino. Anken. And nice cover up from Moran. Nice step. What was that? Uh, said it hit his arm. It looked like it was all chest. <laughs> Sounded like it was all chest. Now on the seeds, tell him to put his arm down. He's got it direct again. Yeah, it's a direct kick. And it's a direct. If it's a, if it's a handball, it's a direct yeah. kick. And he's got the. So confused. No, actually, you're not. He is. Oh, okay. Nice move from McCann. Oh. Medway's 28th has been like a uh, a wall. Everyone tries to dribble through. Yeah, him, but nothing. Carpenters. I haven't seen anything go by him yet. Yeah, Batika with a handball. Ball. Okay, you got him up. And we're doing a team change again for Hopkinton. Subs getting ready to come in in mass. There's too many of them to tell you who's coming in. It's a nice strike. Even though it was obvious, he still yells keep. That's that's your basic skills. Nice step. Brian steps to the ball very well there. Oh, see a little touch on it. Uh, he would have liked to see Goo hold the ball there. Yeah. Give his teammates a chance. Team. <laughs> Benway yells out one name. <laughs> Just yell team for Hopkinton. <laughs> and why are we subbing on a indirect kick from the field? I sure that could have been a direct. Uh, except they were they both they were oh, both they both did. So I'm going by the far ref. Yes, okay. <laughs> nice drop back to core. Nice takeaway from Donata Hay. Less than eight minutes left in the game. Oh, nice cross. Oh. Nobody was there on the late run. Well, this could Oga be comes oh. in, doesn't get a hold of it. Should have stopped it then. And Ryan with a nice run just to save that ball on the wing. It's right here. If they get control of it, they can score right down here. That uh, was an elbow? Yeah, COVID call. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the final period. Hopkinton two, Medway zero. John Ritz, Mike Terosian, and Steve Sweetapple live from the high school. Offside? No, foul. Um. <laughs> 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 nice step Look at from that. Sheehan. That's why you don't wait for a pass. Go to it. All right, spread it out now. Boothroyd, little flick back to Thomas. Oh, 
Preventure. Right to the goalie. Yeah. Good idea, though. Yeah. There you go. This could be a Boothroyd great. Boothroyd puts it in. This could be a great scoring opportunity for the Hills right here. Yeah. Thomas with a strike, blocked by Medway. Boothroyd gets it back. Oga, outside. And oh. I'll try to go back to Oga, oh. just mishit it. And that one leaves the field to play. That one's headed right up to John Ritz. That's one John's not going to get because we're on a 20-foot wall. <laughs> she had to put the ball in play. Oh. Corner kick, Hopkinton. Tyler Carolino checking in. Oh, 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 oh. Boothroyd, do a little flick there. That that that. <laughs> I thought it was over, but based on the goalie's reaction, I'm like, that might drift back in. I know. It had backspin. Pierre St. Louis put the ball in play. So yeah, I, would, I mean, if that's, I don't understand that call. You should let the play continue. Yeah, because you. So not I had a chance for a breakaway there. Yeah, you always hate the, when you have that advantage, you get taken away. She can't replay that. Thomas with a kick. Uh, takes a deflection well. off Medway. There's a foul on Thomas. Simon puts the ball in play. Back to Pierre St. Louis. To Core. Turnover. Oh, Core gets it back. Tries to get it up to Chiplock. A little too far. So it looks like Hopkins was back with their 3-4-3. Three, three. Balbreski to Thomas. Back to Arthur. Arthur with a step over. Trivistava down the wing. Nice. Lee Look at that wheels. Uh, it's going off Medway. Hiller ball. <laughs> Trying to pick it up. <laughs> Some old habits, you know. Oh, oh, oh I thought it? he just couldn't pull the trigger. Boothroyd had it. He was yeah. just needed another step. Ball's just ricocheting around. Recovery from Medway. I think that was Vasco. Numbers are too small. Thomas. Shivistava turns it over. Hopkinton ball. Under two minutes in the game. Official time now being kept on the on the field. Boothroyd to Thomas. Medway. Oh, nice step. Nice defense from Boothroyd. Oh, 
before he puts the ball in play. Switch the field, boys. There it is. One more. One more now. Nice step from Arthur. Tyler Carolino bounces it off Carpenter. Hill her ball. Sheehan will put it in play and gives it right to Carpenter. Arthur will be first to it. Back to the keeper. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. I was holding my breath. <laughs> well, the last time we Should've heard BBB. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Oh, nice, nice out to the uh, wing. Carolino's there. Nope. Oh. There you go. In front. Out to the. Oh no, not uh. inside. Drop it to the penalty spot. Oof. And, and that's, that's it, it. folks. Woohoo! The uh, second JV game of the weekend comes to an end with Hopkinton defeating Medway 2 0 on goals from. Narayan and Goo, both in the first half. Entertaining game, Mike. You're very entertaining, and I tell you, this was uh, it, it was a pleasure to see. It looks like that it was not their first game. Yeah. They looked just like, you know, uh, JV play. And yeah. uh, great passes, each team. Uh, everyone's talking to each other. I, yeah, I was very happy with today's play. Yep. So Hopkinton, JV boys, two. Medway 0, a second straight 2-0 victory for Hopkinton. So for John Ritz, Mike Tarosian, I'm Steve Sweetapple, and we'll be back with the boys' varsity game in about 30 or 40 minutes.